Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Well, I'm just gonna say it. It's been a lousy year for Bernard Tomic. Bernie staggered to a 10 and 19 record with 13 opening round exits. His ranking plummeted to number 145. And then after his Wimbledon loss, he stunned his tennis fans, telling us that he was bored. Well, that attitude didn't go over well with the ITF, which hit Tomic with a $15,000 fine. Turns out his racket sponsor didn't like it very much either. Head dropped him. So now, as his career is near crisis, Australian Open Tournament Director Craig Tiley is offering Tomic health and well-being support. But get this, according to the Sydney Morning Herald, Bernie hasn't responded. The 25-year-old has admitted he's not motivated. Well, we could see that, couldn't we? And unless he plays through qualifying, he's going to need a wild card to play in the Australian Open. Craig Tiley says it's up to Davis Cup captain Leighton Hewitt and TA Performance Director Wally Masser. Meanwhile, Aussie great Pat Cash has offered his support and a challenge to Bernie. Cash, who coaches Coco Vandaway, says that Tomic should not get a wild card, but instead he should qualify and earn it like everybody else. Cash says Bernie has the talent and he can be a team player, as evidenced by his 17-4 Davis Cup record. So what do you think? Does Bernie deserve a wild card? Let us know your thoughts on that one. All right, Thanksgiving came a little early for Petra Kvitova. You'll remember that Petra suffered a terrible stabbing attack to her left hand during a home invasion last year. Well, the left-handed Czech underwent a four-and-a-half-hour surgery on that hand last December, and it sidelined her for the first four months of this season. In a heartfelt post on Instagram, Petra gave thanks to her family, friends, fans, and her team for their unwavering support in her comeback this season. While Petra admits that she still doesn't have full feeling in two of her fingers on that hand, never mind, she still won her 20th career title in Birmingham in June and reached the U.S. Open quarterfinals. Great to see Petra smiling again. Well, Wimbledon watchers know that Prince William and Princess Kate are die-hard tennis fans and visitors to the Royal Box each summer. Turns out the Duchess of Cambridge also likes to play a bit. Remember, now she's pregnant with her third child, but still showing her tennis skills at the LTA's Tennis for Kids initiative held on Halloween at the National Tennis Center. Tennis for Kids will give free tennis lessons and rackets to more than 22,000 British kids this year. Here, she's looking very sporty in a tracksuit and showing some serious pop in her one-handed backhand, hitting with kiddos and hanging out with British number one, Joanna Conta. She also met with coaches and juniors in Coach Corps, which is a Royal Foundation supported program that educates and supports young people building a career in sports coaching. Well, get your racket ready to play your way into Indian Wells because the new Oracle Challenger Series is going to launch in early 2018. That series consists of two ATP Challenger Tour events and two WTA 125K Series events contested in late January at the Newport Beach Tennis Club and late February at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. Each event's going to pay equal prize money for a total of $150,000 per tournament. But players are in it for more than just the prize money. The two American men and women with the highest accumulated points in the series will get wild cards in the singles main draws at Indian Wells next season. Very cool. And that wraps it up for this time. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.